All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All the Mod 7. Dudes, we have a lot of fun stuff planned for today. But the first thing we need to go ahead and do is get some gold bees. I actually already have a gold bee. Yes, he's floating around in there. Uh, all I did is I just took uh, some flowers, you know, and I clicked the crystalline bee and the mason bee, and pow, came the, ma the gold bee. That's the word. So, yeah, we have... Uh, the gold will be now. I'm going to go ahead and set up another one of these little chambers for them. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. You, these guys have been, um, I guess you could say, uh, they haven't been working a whole lot because that's been full for probably like four days of playing this. <laughs> so yeah. And then over there, we're going to do a big industrial build that I don't have all the details worked out. So I don't think too much of it. But yes gold bees the bees knees okay so we need to go ahead and create the advanced oak bee hives oh beehive so that requires us to do a few things one we need some wood perfect we've got some wood so advanced beehive all right so there's our beehive um so we need some combs of some sort. We'll take the iron ones just because we have so many. And then what else? Actually, it's not letting me use those combs, is it? It wants me to use those. That is fine by me. Perfect. Okay. So now we just need shears and a campfire. We all can just sit around the campfire and sing the campfire song. We have to sing it off tune so that we don't get struck with copyright. Okay, so we should have everything to go ahead and make the campfire. Booyah! Now, was that a fly? Yeah, he trolling me. He trolling me. Cool. So, we're going to go hither. And we have iron beautiful and there we go this should be the advanced oak behave perfect now we're gonna go back over here we're gonna grab some more uh glass that i have smelted up here and we're gonna create another one of those little areas super duper cool broskies all right all right let's get this thing set up uh we have everything that we need to do so except for gold i just realized I feel kind of shilly, but we'll go ahead and we'll, I digress. All right, so we'll save that middle spot for the glowstone when we gotta when we have it, uh, and then now the doors beautiful, and then the behave can go in the middle. Perfect. All right, so we'll get the bees in here, um, and then we'll have to get some gold. Uh, again, he's not fully grown yet, or she don't know. Doesn't really tell you what gender the bee, the bee is, but that's fine. Uh, but we do have some of these. We can breed them again. Give us a second one, please. Yes. Okay. So we've got two gold bees. Perfect. The bee's knees. All right. So I need to go and get some more flowers and go get some gold. I think the best place to do that is going to be the nether. So I'm going to go run to the nether real quick, grab some cool things like uh, the blocks of uh, the, the stuff and you call it potatoes. I don't know. I'm going to go get nuggets from the nether. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got two, count them, two gold blocks. And so now we can place these guys here like so. And then we're going to go ahead, you know, would it be a bad idea just to pipe this over into the same area? Uh, I don't think so, because <clears throat> if we look here, yeah, we've got the hoppers. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just do it. Okay, so we're going to have to move the beehive real quick. Oh, beehive. There we go. And so then the beehive will go on top. Actually, we're going to move this guy, so we don't have to worry about placing it again. A hopper under here, there sure is. So we're gonna grab this guy. Oh, he got grabbed. But he got grabbed by the hopper. That is okay. We forgive him. Bam. Okay, so those no longer have to be moved. 
Um, well, I mean, they'll be moved eventually, but not for this, which is good. Cool. So light in here. That is ready for our bee friends in there. Our two little gold bees, which is fan frickin tastic. And yeah, so now we'll start to get more gold, and we'll be able to upgrade our storage. We get a bunch of gold chests, too. And then we need diamonds, so I need to go mining. So I'm going to go do that, and uh, you guys have a good time. All right, guys, so a considerable amount of time has passed, and, you know, not a whole lot, honestly, but enough time that, uh, yeah, we probably need to start processing some of uh, these guys which is the gold combs uh, and then we'll be able to have better times <laughs> i don't know where i'm going with this uh words are difficult sometimes you know that guys okay so i see we get one gold on our first go no sad Dismal, he said. Oh my lord, I didn't realize I had this much iron in here. Yeah, we also need to really focus on getting a decent um, processing system for this. That'll probably be next episode. Look forward to that. Okay. And, you know, fixing these guys up. But we're going to have to get into power gen. I think honey power generation is probably going to be one of our better ones. So, yeah. Can we convert this into honey? I mean, it's wax. Ooh, we can make candles out of it. Mm, yeah, we can. Okay, so it's just fuel or candle. Very cool. But yeah, we're processing up the gold combs, combs now. And so we'll be able to have all the fun. Oh, look at that. We got our first gold. The amazing. All right. So for the remainder of the episode, guys, we're going to go ahead and get into some power generation because we really, really need it, honestly. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and work on that right now. Uh, one of these is a coal generator, and I believe I can put to make that work. All right, looks like we're just going to be working on the honey generator. I mean, that's pretty easy to, to craft, uh, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but yeah, let's make a couple of bottles. We'll go fill up some of them with the honey, and then we can go ahead and make the hums good. Perfect. So we got four um, jars of honey, so that's fantastic. So let's go ahead, and we'll put this here, and to make this... All right, so here we go. Here's our honey generator. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put those combs back in up at the top here so they can process after the gold. There we go. And then, oh, not there. Ooh, look at that. We have 11 gold. So we're going to hit that with a hammer eventually. Not right now, but eventually so we can get a lot more out of it. Cool. <clears throat> okay, so honey, honey generator... Can I just click this to get the honey out? Okay, so we can't, I forget. I think, I believe there's a bottler. Yes, okay, so this is what we need to make now. We just need one piece of glass. All right, so the bottler here. Um, we're gonna need some item pipes as well. Yeah, we'll go item pipes. Ooh, what do we need? Droppers. All right, we shouldn't need that many, cool. And then, ah, oh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna need the tool. Beautiful. Okay. All right, so. Oh, we've got honey. Beautiful, okay. And so then we can do a honey generator. Okay, look at that. We are producing power. Yes, but we need... Okay, that's empty. We're going to go ahead and actually remove that. All right, and then all we need to do is, I think, put two redstone on the outside of this, and we can go ahead and turn it into a powered version, which will allow us to make things much quicker. Sweet. I'm going to sleep real quick. Okay, so this is powered now. As you can see, it's definitely moving quite a bit faster, which is fantastic. We can also put upgrades in here. I mean, we could before, but we can even more now. And then the bottles are going here, and we want to take those out. 
So if we do this, this should take the bottles out and return them. Yes, so now they're getting cycled through. We're filling this up with honey. And as you can see, we are producing power. So now this thing runs on itself. Now I don't know if it's 100% efficient uh, when it comes to the amount of honey it requires and how much it produces. Uh, but from what I remember, it does really well. So cool. Unfortunately though, we don't have the ability to use the wax as power anymore. Yeah, like we don't have a furnace generator, which really sucks. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, definitely moving quicker. Then we come back over here and we can see how much we've produced. Bam, look at that. So much stuff, so much stuff, ladies and gentlemen, so cool. And then we'll get the gold ones in there. We're gonna have to make a couple of these, uh, but how are we doing? Okay, so we, we're out of honey there. We've got quite a bit of energy in here. Got a little bit of honey in there to produce the power. Okay, let's see about some upgrades. I don't know if we can make any of them, but we're gonna check them out. Okay, so it looks like this is the one we want. It says it's a 20% decrease in time spent in the hive can be installed in centrifuge for faster processing. Multiple upgrades can be installed for a greater time decrease. So that's super cool. Um, but the problem is this is rather expensive. I don't, do we, do I even have that many emeralds left? I do, we can actually make it. Um, yeah, we can make it. Okay, so I do have a couple of bottles still in there of honey. Uh, so all we gotta do is just grab some honeycombs here. Another thing too would be to set those up automatically so they start processing on their own. So we don't have to go over there and keep hitting the button, but it, it was a good, you know, starter thing. Uh, yeah, but here we go. We should be able to make two of these. Yeah, okay, so we can only make two. But let's go ahead, and we can only make one. All right, there you go, all of our emeralds. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that should be almost everything. We need some honeycombs, and our bees out here have it. Oh, well, our system over here has it. Cool. So if we go two by two crafting, yep, we have some iron comb blocks. They look really, really nice. What can you do with these? Okay, so upgrade filter, rain. Okay, so you really can't do a whole lot with it, which is totally fine. Um, but here we go. So we have our first upgrade, which is fantastic. All right, and if we come over here, bam. Now, does it, I would assume it requires more power. I don't know, it seems to be just humming along and I wanna have a total, like all of these filled up with the, the speed, but we do need to get diamond bees. And then we need to get emerald bees. So diamond bees you get from the, the ender bees really that. We just need to get some end stone, poke it with a sword and let it do its thing. Um, yeah, but now we've made this process a whole lot quicker. How are we doing? There might be a bug where that's not using all of as what it should be because it's not going down. Oh wait, it did for a little bit there. But I do think it's self-sufficient, which is good. So yeah, a little bummer. Um, yeah, the wax we have is not, it, it won't work. So we need to look into another power source, which means that the coal bee is probably gonna be one of our best bets. Uh, but we need a blazing bee, which you get from a magmatic bee and a nomad bee. So we're gonna have to, it's gonna take a little doing to get to this. And another thing too, is we need to get an experienced bee, but then again, we need to get a diamond bee and that requires an end bee. So yeah, that's still a ways off too. While we wait for the gold to get processed up, because I want to go ahead and make some more of the gold chests and then upgrade a few of them to diamonds so we can start moving more here. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a redstone bee um, because we're going to really need it. So we need a chocolate mining bee and a glowing bee. Uh, so here's our chocolate mining bee. And then where's our glowing bee? Okay, so here we go. 
We're gonna go ahead and breed these two bees together to try to get a redstone bee, which is fantastic. Um, moving up in the world. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these guys bred together. So crystalline bee, bam, and bam. And let's see, do we get a redstone bee first try? No, we get another crystalline bee. Oof. I didn't know that was a thing. Anyway, we'll go ahead. Oh, that's because I grabbed the wrong bee. Glowing bee. Frick. I only have one of those uh, chocolate mining bees. Okay. So I need to get the rest of them out of there. Um, do I even have any more of the, the bee cages? Okay. Let's go ahead and steal those guys out of here. So the mason bee doesn't need to be in here. You don't need to be in here. You don't need to be in here. Come on. Get in the drink bee cage. Got him. And then you don't. Okay. And then the glowing bee does. And that's where we get the the redstone bee. Okay. So we're going to have to go ahead and wait a little bit of time, which will let our system here keep producing. Look at that. We're doing good. We're doing good. Look at that. It's processing so quick. Amazing. Okay. So we've got a bit more gold here, which is cool. Uh, so we just need two diamonds per diamond chest. So... Okay, so we can go ahead and make a total of three. How did that work? Okay, so we can make three more diamond chests, which is beautiful. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we're just going to make three of each. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we need some glass. Oh, frick. There it is. And then one, two, three. There we go. Okay, so three more diamond chests. Amazing. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy here. And then we'll put this guy here and here. And we'll do the same thing. Yep, but now we have that much more storage. So cool. So stinking cool. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get all of these uh, chests in there. And I'm going to do that now. And it's going to look weird. All right. Those chests are gone, dudes and dudettes. Look at that. It's completely empty here. This looks weird. Um, well, let's go see. I haven't actually looked at how much we've filled this up, so that's not full. That's completely full. Oh, man. Yeah, we got a lot more storage than I thought we did, which is fantastic. I've also been adding more of the, the blocks that, you know, we kind of see a lot. I've been adding them to um, just to the, the storage wall for the storage drawers. I think that's been helping a lot, you know, keep that bulk down. So that's been great. We love to see it. Perfect. Yeah, but I've just been doing this, running back and forth, collecting the items. And I honestly think we can probably fit all of the chests in there. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to do it. If not, we can always add a temporary, like, gold chest or something uh, that we'll replace later on. But I really don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to have to break it and then, like, fill everything back in. That's why I, I haven't done it yet. So... But we do have quite a few gold chests and stuff like that, so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Oh my goodness, guys. We have all of our storage located in one spot. Everything is here in that. Let's take a look. Okay, so yeah, obviously this is full. This isn't even all the way full. We haven't even touched that chest. We still have storage here. We have nothing here. Oh my goodness, guys, this is like we could even free up more space if we did polished and nether rack. Oh, but look, look at this. It's all contained. We don't have to run outside anymore to like get our items. It's all right here. Holy crap. 
But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. You all are always amazing. I hope to see you guys commenting down below what you think of the series, what you want to see, things you're excited about, things you're not too excited about, or bugs or whatever. I want to hear it all, guys. Post it down in the comments for me. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching today's episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and you guys have been amazing. I'll see you all next episode. Peace out. Take care.